Welcome to the Hollywood AC show. We have a very special guest for you today. We have comedian Miss Matulu. Matulu. Look, the reason I Paul, you know, I've been messing her name, but I was just telling her about that. I'm calling her what I said, too low. Too low. So I'm tripping. We got a great show for you. Hey, we're gonna get this show started. Yeah. Hollywood, Tennessee. Hollywood AC. It's the show, man. Watch it. It's Hollywood in the big M town. How AC do it, man, ten toes down. The show is on, so watch me now. Sit back and relax and turn up the dial. It's Hollywood in the big M town. How AC do it, man, ten toes down. The show is on, so watch me now. Sit back and relax. And now, first thing first, I gotta ask you, your name. It's a unique name. Does it have some type of meaning behind it, or, or how did you come up with that name? Well, back in uh, 2004, one of my coworkers, she came to me, and she uh, called me actually on the phone, and she was telling me, she said, Yvonne, you give your gift away free. And she said that the Holy Spirit has spoken to me and want me to ask you to do five or ten minutes of comedy at their women's conference. And I was like, I ain't no comedian, you know, <laughs> and our little skate group, it, uh, skate way of getting out of things. I said, well, let me pray about it. Yeah. <laughs> so I prayed about it and I called her back. And, and once I committed to it, uh, God began to reveal to me, you know, in a vision. He gave me the name Matulu. And once okay. I uh, got that name, you know, that's laughter, you know, joy. Okay. And so... Uh, I uh, had to keep a notepad beside my bed because material was just flowing so that okay. I couldn't remember everything. I had to write it down. He gave me uh, the name. He gave me the outfit that I wear. I wear when Matulu come out on the stage, she wear African attire because that's what he gave me. Okay. He said, okay. you know, at that particular time, I was wondering why do he want me to do comedy right. when I lost my job? You know, they repossess my car, right. and I don't see nothing funny right. about that. <laughs> now, how right. are you going to laugh in pain? Yeah. But that's what he brought out of me that uh, I'm like, Lord, how am I supposed to get to going to where you want me to go to? Right. What am I supposed to do? Because I envisioned a little lady with a little tube head on her head right. and right. with the little string under her neck, and yeah. that's what I saw. Right. But he didn't see that. He said, you know that African dress you got in your closet? I want you to put on that African dress because your pastor is doing a study on becoming a better me. So uh -huh. therefore, you know, what we do as black people is that we identify with things, uh -huh. you know, and so they say I was from Africa. I say, okay, I'm going to put on this African dress. Right, right. Man, I ain't had it on for three years and I ain't found myself <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> But that's how I came up with the name is that uh, he revealed it unto me. He revealed the outfit unto me, and he revealed the script unto me. Okay, okay. So you've actually been doing comedy, what, three years now? Since 2004. Okay, okay. Doing comedy, and you do uh, clean comedy, gospel comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, great job. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I had an opportunity to see you the first time. Mm -hmm. Bl blew my mind. We really enjoyed <laughs> you. Uh, and we're going to show a clip. Uh, later on in the show, okay. uh, a piece that you did at Fire uh, Entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, as as you travel down this journey, how has it uh, has it better you, uh, uh, strengthened you? How has this journey took you? Uh, like you said, comedy mm -hmm. out of all things, how has it taken you uh, on this path? Well, it has strengthened me because you know the word of God says a merry heart does good right. like a medicine. And uh, when he say does good, when you go to the doctor and they give you the right prescription, right. you know, you ain't got to keep going back, that that's it. That's <laughs> what laughter does for us. Uh, it rejuvenates us. And, and I also, you know, the word of God says that you add to your faith virtue and you add to it knowledge. So therefore, I began to research what do laughter mean, not only in the spiritual realm, but in the earthly realm. What is laughter? So therefore, when you laugh, I mean, when you go 
down deeply laughing, mm -hmm. it releases enzymes that heals the body. Oh, yes. Oh, you yes. know, and uh, not only that, we see people that pay thousands of dollars to go to laughter yogurts, you right. know, for people right. to teach them how to laugh. Mm, I so, didn't get in that business. You said thousands yeah, yes, of dollars? Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> it, uh, they, they pay a lot wow, of money that's, to, that's to uh, teach them to laugh. Wow. When God had already told us to rejoice. Oh, and so, uh, yes, sir. Sir, and to help me, mm -hmm. you know, when I do shows and uh, when I go out, I've been all over New York, New Jersey. Uh, wow. Love it out there in Jersey. Them people, they know how to take care of your Jersey. But uh, <laughs> they, uh, they, they really do. They, they shower you with love out there. But uh, to see people to come up to you and say that they have lost their significant other and they hadn't laughed in years because of the bitterness and wow. the hurt. And when they came to the show, and they start laughing and couldn't stop laughing. Wow. That 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 touched me and that builds me and that builds my faith and that strengthens my faith. That regardless of what you're going through and how painful your situation look, find something to laugh at. If ain't nobody around you, just look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> that, that, that's true. Uh, you've been a lot of places. Yes, sir. Where are you from? I got to ask you that. Where are you from? Rosedale, Mississippi. <laughs> Rosedale in the house all day, a little old place. What they say, I was born on the river. <laughs> I went in a little tent, but, you know, we yeah. were by a ditch. We thought they say people say that they uh, got a lakeside house. Yeah. I said, man, we had a lakeside house, too. Yeah. And they say, Vaughn, you weren't born on no lakeside. Uh, didn't have no house on no lake. I said, yes, it did. Every time it rained, that ditch flood. Yeah. So we had a lake out there in the front yard. Man, don't mess with it. <laughs> I grew up on a lakeside by a lake. Yes, sir. Rosedale, Mississippi. Rosedale, Mississippi. All day. Okay. Graduated from Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi. So uh, in 2000, I mean 1988, oh. I uh, moved to Memphis. Okay. And been okay. here ever since. Okay. So you have you did a show uh where you from yet? No, I hadn't gone to Rosedale yet. Gone okay. back there okay. yet. Uh I don't know cuz I don't, I don't know why I hadn't been back to uh Rosedale. You know they the people they look at you differently. They say all oh, that's Bonnie, you know. Right, right, right. You know, but but, uh, but to see what you have comp uh, accomplished that that may be a uh insight. They may look at you different. Mm -hmm. That's that. true. You That's know? true. Because they, like you said, they know you all this body, you know. Yeah. But to know who you are mm -hmm. as far as uh, your career has grown, you, know, you changed it on that level. They may, they may say, "Oh, I didn't know she was doing it. I didn't mm -hmm. know she was funny." You what? Know? <laughs> or, or not that. Not funny, funny but, but you well, know. yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> now look, I've seen you. Um, you came out and did a show for us mm -hmm. at the SC Group. Mm -hmm. uh, we was very pleased. Um, so I got to ask the question. Mm -hmm. uh, you do shows for anybody out of town. What 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 do you do? Because there may be somebody looking at this that say, hey, I would like to you know hire her. So how can I get into contact with you and all that type of stuff? Well, they can reach me. Uh, my contact number is 901-406-5993 mm -hmm. or by my email is ms, Miss Bonnie Bruins at yahoo.com and that's m-s-b-o-n-n-i-e at uh, Bruins, B-R-U-I-N-S, at yahoo.com. Okay. Either one of those I've done, uh, pastor anniversary, birthday parties, uh, I've done baby showers, uh, I've also done pre-weddings, you know, when the, the wedding party is getting ready to, for the ceremony, they had a comedy uh, show before that. Trying to lighten the and, moment. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well. Yeah, that, that's it. you right. The brother say, let's bring it so calm. I guess he had to calm his nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But I've I've done a lot of things since 2004. Okay. God has graced me to uh, travel not once to New Jersey, but several times there, okay. and uh, going to North Carolina. Uh, I've got done a lot of churches here in okay. uh, Memphis. Okay. Now it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of comedians. I know a lot of comedians. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, but to take that you take on uh, uh, your role mm -hmm. in a comedian, the world, uh, you're a Christian comedian, mm -hmm. or are you just a clean, consider yourself a clean comedian? 
which do you prefer uh, your title? Well, what God brought me into, and I have to stick and go in line with the Holy Spirit, that I can't okay. go outside of that. I'm just naturally funny anyway. God takes the gift that you have to build, and that's where your wealth lies, is with the gift and the talent that lies within you. So, therefore, what he has given me is uh, Christian comedy, gospel okay. comedy, and what God would get his word out there anyway. And so uh, what Matulu does is that she takes the word of God and she justified the way she see it. Okay. Say, for instance, uh, the uh, uh, I was saying I had a C and I problem. Right. And so I stood in the prayer line to get healed from the C and I problem. Right. And so I, when I got up there, you know, the prophet, she spit in some dirt that she had in her bag and she wanted to put it on my eyes. And I jumped out the line and said, I'm healed. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, telling her that you ain't finna put no your spit and your dirt on my eyes because I don't know where your spit been and that dirt ain't been tested. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she just take the word of God. And oftentimes when I do that, a lot of pastors come to you and they say, well, that's a unique way of youth to learn scripture and to learn about the word of God is that you coming in through the back door, but we see where you're going with this. Right, right. You know, and it's basically uh, God is saying that uh, I want you to go into my body and to encourage them to build their laughter, their strength back up. Because the word of God says, the joy of the Lord is is your strength. So if the joy of the Lord is my strength, why do we walk around depressed all the time as Christian believers? Why? Don't give me the preaching, boy. You know, I, I get excited and we'll be like, hallelujah. <laughs> then the brother over there get on the organ and playing the organ. <laughs> then we'll get to running around here. They say, I thought they was on cable TV here. And we, man, we done <laughs> turned in that church. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Eva, is she coming on a Honda? <laughs> Eat up all our sauce. Oh. Bring me back in. Bring me back in. <laughs> <laughs> and I know a lot of people also sometimes, they say, Matulu, why do you laugh at yourself? I say, man, because God takes you out of you and lets you see him. That's how good he is, my brother, that God is so awesome. When you operating in him, that he will take you out of you and let you look at him work. Mm. Man, that's something. That's deep. Man, that's deep, ain't it? That's deep. Let's bury white deep, that's ain't that's it? That's deep. Baby, baby, deep. baby, let's yeah. bury deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you have any projects lined up, like a uh, CD release or anything like that coming up? Oh, God, if anybody say that again, it's just, I've been Is that confirmation? Again. I mean, I asked Yeah, you, that's called, boy, I've that, been to you slap know? you three times. <laughs> uh, do you have any CDs? Do you have any? And I'm like, Lord. But this year, our pastor uh, has spoken out that uh, visions will be seen this year that uh, victories will be seen this year and that you're going to meet up with people that God has already had you on their mind. Say that you probably don't know them, uh, probably hadn't heard about them, but you on their mind and you will cross them and they're going to help you take that that God has to another level. And when you called me the other day, I just sit there and I say, Daddy, you bad because <laughs> I thought you had forgot a sister. <laughs> you know, y'all men, y'all leave us on the side. Y'all use us for a minute, and uh, it, do I have any witness out there? <laughs> see, see what I'm talking about? See, what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> see make them study. Mm -hmm. Look, look. <laughs> no. Uh, you choked up? I never you forget about water? you. No, never forget about you. Uh, like I said, you blew us away to when God you came be the out. Glory. Wow. So you, mm -mm, looking forward to doing more uh, work with you. As a matter of fact, we talked about this. Uh, we're going to make it come true. You will be hosting a show for the SE group. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I I'm going to make sure that you be on point with me on Praise that. God. We're going we're gonna, to uh, continue to work together. Mm -hmm. You know, because like I said, I like your spirit and uh, I like your work. To God be the glory. Y'all roll up on the church. I read out. Give me a little something. Give me something that, you know. 
when we don't want the pastor on the hill, we pull up. <laughs> Give me some of that, we don't want the pastor to hear. <laughs> you this i want you to go back mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna take you back okay share with us your first pay for gig can you remember that and 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 and, and tell us give us a little uh, little something about what happened with that because i'm taking you back now you know your first 2004 2004 you looking like that must not been been good well Talk to me. Talk to all me. Right, all right. All right. <laughs> I got invited uh, after I told you that my girlfriend had invited me to do the uh, comedy at the women's conference. Okay. She put out there, if anybody need my Tulu to call her this and that. So I got a phone call from some of the members that was at the visitors that was at the the church and they invited me down to uh baseball uh uh mississippi and you know baseball is not just down the street from memphis so i me and some of my uh uh girlfriends we went down to uh baseball and and we performed and and everything and people was just coming up to you like are you on tv this 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 right. so the young lady that brought me down there uh she came out with a little bag and say i want to thank you you know we really enjoyed you and this and that so you know me and my friends and everybody cleared out the church we still sitting there on the on the uh benches you know and uh i went through my little bag i got my little cup right, right. you know i got uh other a little, you know, a, a bookmarker, and I said, okay, I got some pencils and pens, you know, yeah, from the yeah. bank and different stuff, and then, you know, I, I was looking for my envelope, you know right, how they right. put your little yeah. money in your envelope, right, you right. know, I came to base when uh, I didn't see an envelope, I said, well, maybe they put it in a book, okay. so I got the book out, and I uh, fanned the book, I, I said, well, maybe they stuck it Maybe it's an insert in a book that I don't know nothing about. Now I held it up and I passed it to my guy. I said, y'all look through it because maybe I don't see it. And so they said, ain't nothing in here. And I'm like, Lord, uh, how am I supposed to be getting home? And so I'm sitting there. And so the lady come out the back. She said, oh, my Tulu, you all still here? I'm like, yeah, uh, what my month? You know, I'm finna lose my religion. Yeah. I'm finna set it down. I'm finna say, sing that Rihanna song. Better have my money. You know what I. I'm finna, you know, I'm finna start cranking up in there. You know, just, just. <laughs> like and so I just kept a little pleasant face and, and uh I said, Oh, we just sitting there just calming down before we get back on the highway and go back to Memphis. But uh that experience it taught me that uh 
you also have to take care of business on the front end, get a understanding. You know, the word of God says that uh, wisdom is a principal thing, but in all your getting, get an understanding. Right. So in any type of thing uh, uh, you're doing or pursuing, get an understanding up front before you start uh, doing anything. But that learned, that taught me um, uh, some things. And, uh, you know, it was a couple of more that I learned along the way that, uh, so once I began to to uh, add to myself knowledge about different things and, and talking with my pastor about things, uh, people, you learn to know if people want you or not. So when you start putting a price tag on things, people bag back. You know, especially church people. You right. know, I'm just keeping it real. They they bag back. They want you to do the serve. The, uh, I'm not uh, just an MC. You know, right. oh, she right. just the MC. No, baby, you got this wrong. Yeah. You know. Uh, <laughs> but even the MCs are paid now. Yeah. Come on. You know. See, so. I just learned something new. You so. just learned me today. So, you know, get your money. <laughs> 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 get what you paper. say? Don't be smiling and say, "I think so." But, mm -mm. but see, you can smile, but still say, "Can I get that money?" Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what you say with that smile? <laughs> with the smile, you know. <laughs> what you say with the smile? Like, oh, smile. oh hey, can I get? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. you know. Uh, look, let me ask you this: You have a lot of young people who, mm -hmm. uh, like any other career, they would love to get in it, but when it comes down to them want to do. Like you're doing, mm -hmm. you're doing Christian comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just like uh, I had talked to artists that are, that do uh, uh, Christian rap, mm -hmm. and it's always it always seems to me that they're afraid, mm -hmm. uh, they're not accepted, uh, or they have a struggle with it in mm -hmm. some type of form or another. What would you say to young people that want to become Christian comedians? What would you tell them? I would say to be you. To, uh, not to compare to anyone else because God created you to be you. He don't need another uh, Ricky Smiley. He don't need another Steve Harvey. He already got them. They already been on the scene. So I would say to be you. Be unique in your own way. When I started out, I had pastors that did not accept it. And I'm like, uh, you all invited me to the church or maybe they didn't get it approved through him and people give you the hard stare. But you stand on what God told you to do. If God told you to do that, you stand on that. Don't get outside of him. Don't but study, 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 you know, study the gift that you have and uh perfect it on that. Don't try to uh balance yourself or go to people that have never walked the walk that you're trying to get into. You know, go to people that are successful in what you're doing. If they're if they struggling in it, why do I want advice from a struggling comedian? That's true. That's true. You know, I want to get, I want to sit under the wing of somebody that didn't walk this, that didn't stumbled and fell, dust themselves off, and they got back up again. So I would say to you to stay true to you and uh, study. You know, study your gift. Don't just jump out there right on it when you just said that you've been called into doing this. Study it before you jump out there because there's wolves out there with sheep clothing on. Let me get you. Yeah. What? <laughs> People come up to you, you know, my brother, like, let me manage you, you know, and uh, but you got to give me 75% of your earned, baby, I'm, I do accounting. And huh. you say, what now? <laughs> you gonna, I had to pull my glasses down. I say, do what now? <laughs> I say, how you? But that's a whole it, it, I mean, other story. I mean, it don't story. even make sense, you know. No, it doesn't. We, we, we had a show. We, we touched on that a little bit, but that's another story. Oh, we'll okay, talk okay. about that. But, look, I, I've enjoyed the interview, and we can talk forever. Because yes, you we keep can, me, cause we keep me just, laughing you know all day. You know, with the you, know, death, yeah. you know, but uh, we, we got to wrap it up. Yes, sir. Uh, we got to wrap it up. But. Um, and Lumina 4 or Reynolds wrap up. Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever, whatever you know. <laughs> I like the four. You don't get the bling, you know. Oh, but I, <laughs> I was just kidding. But look, uh, uh, where can uh, people find your material? If, if you got want to throw that out there before we get out of there, uh, you got any pages or anything or uh, any type of way they can contact you or let's learn more about you or want to book you. Um, can you send any information out there? Also, yes, you could go out on Facebook. 
and my Facebook name is my name, Yvonne Bruins. Uh, I have some of my uploaded uh, material out there on my page. And like I said, if you want to get in touch with me, you can inbox me on my Facebook page. Uh, I'm on instant messages. You could contact me that way. Or also, uh, the number 901-406-5993 or by email, Bruins at yahoo.com. Uh, call me. Now, you know, we reached the end of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. Okay. I'm going to ask you to take uh, us what out. Because uh, I ain't stripping. <laughs> Wait a minute. What kind of show is this? <laughs> See, the way you said that, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. up here. Hold and on. I ain't got no money. Uh so I just yeah. need. You know, we're going to keep, we'll keep the family. Need, so, you all know, right, we'll, I need we'll, to know. Some clarification. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you to do that like that. Now. Okay, thank you. Because <laughs> I ain't come prepared. I would have put on the right clothes. I... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I already knew this was coming. But uh, I'm just going to ask you to take us out with a little piece of okay. uh, some of your material. All right, all right. Wow, you know, church people have, it, it's some funny things that goes on in church, especially those churches that have church meetings. Man, Matulu fell up in a church meeting one day, and you know, they was having, you know, when they get through with the meetings and everything, then they call for new business. I raised my hand. I said, yes, sir, Pastor, I got some new business. They say, Matulu, what is it that you want to talk about? I say, I recommend they Brother Peter Bo to be a deacon. They say, Brother Peter Bo to be a deacon. I say, yes, sir, because the deacons we got, they sleep too much. And I say, you know what? We need some lively deacons that is full of the spirit. And you know what? I was driving out there on Highway 64, and I saw this store that said, Lick Cause and spirits. And I saw Brother Peter Bo coming out the spirit side. And he had this little brown bag. Man, he was so happy and he was drinking and he drunk all of it till he threw the container in the garbage. So I want to recommendate him to be a deacon because the Bible said go out in the congregation and find those full of the spirit. So here it is. <laughs> Here it is, Brother Peter Bo. I show no witness the thing that he is full of the spirit. And I looked over there and saw Brother Peter Bo going down in his seat, just sinking down in his seat. And I'm like, what's wrong with that boy? Stand yourself up and just identify yourself. You full of the spirit. God looking for some good people just like you. <laughs> Then after the church meeting, him and his family going to rise up against me because I recommended him to be a deacon. And because he was full of the spirit, I didn't know that you could buy the spirit in the store. And all this time, I've been down here to commencing praying and coming to all these prayer meetings. And all I had to do was go down there to the store and get me a spirit. That's all. What the world is this? Now they selling the spirits in the store. So if y'all want to get the deacons that is falling asleep, take them down there to them stores so they can get them some of them spirits. Then, and so they could be happy and coming to church and be up, you know, uplifting and encouraging and won't be sitting over there like. You look up in church, you try to stay away because you went out all night and you trying to be encouraged and stay up. You know, and here it is, they over there asleep. So, Pastor, yes, sir, I want Brother Peter Bo to be a deacon. Thank you all.